How's it going people? Bobby here once again on the Bamproof Spoof channel. Today I've got a really, really random video for you. I don't know if it's going to work right now because it's the first time trying it. I'm hoping it will. Theory says it should work. But I managed to get hold of a gotcha the other day. And the band. But I've got the band and the gotcha but I don't have a charger. So here I have a USB cable. And the plan is to try and basically butcher this USB cable take out the red and black wire from one end and try and attach it to the two little pins on the end of the gotcha can you see those those two little pins there if i can connect those wires to that i'm hoping it might charge i might die i might burn the house down um, probably don't try this at home is a sensible thing to say if you do try it be really really careful and know what you're getting yourself in for um, it's going to be at maximum 2.1 currents, uh, 2.1 amps of current going through. I don't know how dangerous that is. I haven't even researched it. I'm going to be kind of careful. Maybe probably kind of not careful because I'm a clumsy fuck. But um, I've got the most rudimentary of tools to do this job with. I have a pair of scissors. I have a roll of electrical tape. And I have a Stanley blade. So between those three things and a USB cable, we're going to see if we can make... This little gotcha charge up and see if we can bring it back to life. I don't even know if it works. I have never used it. Um, it's second hand. Somebody's had it before. Um, we're going to see what happens. So um, let's see what, what happens, I guess. Um, wish me luck. Wish me not to die. And if I do die, Link, you can have all my Pokemon accounts. <laughs> let's do this. Right. So here we are, people. Um... I don't know if this is going to work, and I'm sorry if I bumped the camera, this is a really weird angle to be working at. Here is the gotcha in all its glory. Those are the two pins that I want to connect it to. Um, like I say, I don't know if it's going to work, so we're going to try it and see what happens. Um, like I say, hopefully I don't die. So obviously this end of the USB cable you want to leave as it is. Don't fuck with that end. This end of the USB cable you can fuck with. So the very first thing I'm going to try and do is this with a pair of scissors and just literally cut the end off this cable and see what we've got inside so there should be several wires inside here as you can see there's a few cores um, a red and a black one are what we're looking for I don't have wire strippers this would be far far easier with some wire strippers I'm gonna try and do this with a blade and try and strip a little bit of this black off this uh, cable so the blade seems to be doing the job so far. Um, I'm sorry if I get some of this not on camera. I'm trying my best, people. This is really, really awkward. A <laughs> really dodgy angle. Um, from here, I'm hoping I can just rip it off without fucking all the cores inside. Um, maybe I can, maybe I can't. Uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> nearly there it's nearly there um, I'm hoping that that copper stuff is shielding of some kind rather than actual me cutting right through all the cores with such a sharp knife um, before I did it it was an old USB cable so I did just check it's starting to come off I did just check that it would charge a phone still to make sure that the cable was okay might not be okay by the time I'm done with this. Uh, it's gradually coming off, right? Uh, that's really hard to get off. Um, and it's hardly moving, so... At this angle, it's really awkward. I'm going to move the knife out of the way so that I don't slice myself if it suddenly comes free. Um, come on, you fucker. Come on, come on, come on. Jesus Christ. This is hard. I've hardly got it. <laughs> it's hardly moved at all. Um, but it is coming off. Uh, maybe if I get something else to grip it with. One sec. Maybe if I grab the end of this with these right on the very tip. Maybe it'll be a bit. Whoops. Maybe not. 
I thought that might be easier. I think I was wrong. She's gonna rip it. She's gonna rip it. Right. I just threw the electrical tape on the floor. We're gonna have to go back to the old approach of just pulling it with my hands. It actually hurts my hands. <laughs> I wanna get it off there like that though. I'm gonna try the other way around. Tugging. And it's common. I mean, it is common. Stuff is going everywhere, including the gotcha, so it might be ruined now. I might skip the video forward a little bit here. Because this is taking ages to get it off. Or do you want to see everything? I don't know. It's coming. It's coming. Now there's a bit more to grab on the end. Maybe. This will... Come on, you fuck up. Jesus Christ, people. Don't tell me there's a secondary sheath in there as well. I think there is. It's got shielding and then another... Another sheath, which means I can probably cut this one. Without damaging the others, which might make it way easier. Uh, we did it, we did it. So... All this copper stuff is just appears to be shielding. Try and get that off. And then we've got some metal shielding. And I'm hoping that inside there are some more wires. But I don't know for sure. Does this peel off? How can I get this off? Am I going to have to cut it and risk? I'm going to try it at the end first and just see. It's metal, I don't know if the scissors will. Aha, that's what we want to see. That's exactly what we want to see. So yeah, that's what you should see inside a USB cable. If it's a data USB cable, you should see a red and a black and a green and a white. So the, the red is your live. Your black is your ground. And... Your green and white is what transmits data, so if you're like transmitting data to your phone or something, um, or like, you know, sending files from a phone to a computer or something, the green and white wire is what you would use. So we won't actually need those, so I'm going to cut those off, just to get them out of the way a little bit. We don't need those. All we need is the red and the black. What we do need to do is try and strip these without destroying the wire, which without wire strippers is normally quite difficult, depending what sort of core is inside. So, again, I'm sorry, this is really difficult to get on the camera. But if it's got a... Uh, if it's got a solid core inside, it should be a bit easier to do. If it's a fibrous core... It's very, very easy to cut right through it. Um, oh, there we go. Look at that. That's what you want. And then if we can do the same thing again with the black one. Uh, I'm trying to do this while looking through the camera so that I keep things on screen. But then I'm also trying to look at it in real life. Um... Like I say, no idea if this is going to work so far. The title will probably tell you if it works, because if it doesn't work... Well, if it doesn't work, there's probably no point even uploading this, right? So can we get that shit off there? There we go. This is a bit easier than the other ones, well, it looks a bit where the first one was. Um, just going to bend it around a little bit, try and make it sort of, you know... Little little nip on there might be enough just to pull that off. So try and go. There we go. There we go. So now we have a red and a black. That is where the power should come from. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist these up a little bit to just try and tidy it up. Um, then, twist that one up a little bit, just to tidy it up, 
make it so it doesn't go everywhere, so it's easy to keep them separate. And then I'm gonna try and get these separated like that. Um, I'm gonna cut this copper shit off just to make that a bit more tidy. Without cutting the cable, preferably. Will these scissors cut through the copper? Yep. And cut this silver shit off too, which is just some sort of shield, and it's probably like just a foil, really. Um, none of that stuff should be live in there, so you should be pretty safe. Um, it might be easier if you could pull more of this out to keep them a bit more separate. So, I have now created this thing which is hopefully a charger for a gotcha so I'm gonna quickly just uh, remove anything from the table that could cause problems here like metal things and bits of fiber so there's the gotcha I'm guessing that the left one looking at it from the front is the live and the black one is the ground but I don't know so what I'm gonna try and do I think is try and just sort of wrap this around there like that. Um, is that going to work? No, probably not. Um, maybe I'll test it first by this is scary, right? So, this is the scary part. I'm going to plug it in and I hope nothing explodes. Bring it over here. Those are now both live, so be super, super careful. Um, if I touch those onto there. Does it start charging it? No, is the answer. If I flip it around, what happens? Like, be really careful, I'm scared. Nothing happens. Nothing at all happens. So this might be an epic fail. Totally not working. Either the gotcha's dead or this method is an epic fail. I'm going to do a little bit of research and see what happens. Um, whoops. Probably don't want to touch those two wires together like I just did. Um, that's not a good idea. I'll be right back. Right, I'm back guys, and I've been dicking around with this for a few minutes, and what I've managed to do is somehow tape the red thing to the right hand side, and tape the black one to the left hand side, and it looks like it's dead still. If I press this, look, something is happening. stopped again but did you see it light up though maybe the connection is just a bit dodgy but did you see it light up before I started recording this again it lit up properly when I touch it um, now it's gone again did you see it light up for a split second though if I hold it look at that look 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 Gotcha! Is it charging though? How do I know if it's charging? Does that mean it's charging? Something's happening. Do I have to hold it maybe? Turn it on? As soon as I let go, it comes up gotcha. So something's happening, right? It's got power. I'm guessing, or is that what happens when it's got no power? Would that have happened anyway? No, because I've definitely pressed the button. So yeah, it should show a battery. I'm guessing. When it's charging, should it? Is that what it shows when it's charging? Who's got a gotcha? Does somebody know? I don't know. Um, yeah, it looks like that's what it should show when it's charging. Um... I don't know, I'm going to go off camera again for a moment, fiddle around a bit more, and see 
if I can I would have thought as soon as you charged it it would light up without having to press the button but sometimes it's not even getting maybe it's just so dead that because it's been sitting around for ages that it's not not got enough power because now it seems like I've run it out again and now it won't light up anymore so uh I might just leave that for a while and see what happens we'll be back we will be back so I left it charging for a moment and uh, now something else was happening with it now it's not going to work now I'm recording it is it but I got there we go look I got this screen up I think that screen means it's trying to connect to something I'm guessing that's what it means, right? But something's happening. It doesn't look like it's charging. And it seems temperamental. If I press it once, it seems very temperamental. If I press it once, I can get the... Sometimes, I can get the gotcha, like, animation to come up. You have to tap it really quickly. If I tap it while the gotcha animation comes up, something else is changing. So something's going on here, and I can't tell what. Now it seems to be dead again. So literally, I feel like something's happening. Right? Something's going on. I couldn't get it to do that before. I couldn't get it to even light up before. So somehow, somewhere, there's some power going into this thing. Look, look, see? Uh, I don't know, but now literally I'm going to leave it for like half an hour and see what happens and we'll come back to it. So guys, something is going on. Look at this. Um, it's spinning Pokestops. It's catching Pokemon. It's working, so to speak. Um, it's paired. It's doing stuff. It's flashing. Um, I cannot get it to show the charge symbol, no matter what I do. Um, but it seems to be paired. If we move it over here. Um, it's catching stuff, and it's working. So, I don't know why I can't get it to show the charge symbol. If I close that... And disconnect it. Um, something just spawned. What spawned? A zigzagoon spawned. So if I try and reconnect the gotcha, I guess I go to. Oh, something's going on. Oh, look, here we go. It's catching stuff again. So, I have to be honest, I'm not completely familiar with how it works, but it caught a zigzagoon, look, without me touching it. Um, I don't know what that little flashing thing means. I have no idea. I actually don't know how to use a gotcha properly, because I haven't used one before. But uh, it spun these Pokestops without me touching them, and it's working. But, if I disconnect it... That's a gym. If I disconnect it... Which that should mean it's disconnected once I do that, right? I know it's how it works with a Go Plus. So I do have a Go Plus, but I've never used a Gotcha before. If I do this, and it's charging, it should come up with a charging symbol, but it doesn't. I can't get it to come up with a charging symbol. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just because it's really low on battery. Um, however, something is happening, and there's a Pidgeotto. So if we... Press that, and then press this. Will it connect and try and catch a Pidgeotto? Times two, I don't know what that means. It's doing something. I guess that means it's trying to catch it. Um, will we get Pidgeotto ran away? So it looks like it's working. Totally looks like it's working. So give me two minutes. I'm going to set up a GPX route and just let it start walking around and we'll see what happens. Right, so we're recording again. And we are now walking in the game, as you can see. Um, and Q 
Cuban was caught. Pokemon in range. Uh, I guess he's going to try and get Pokestop in range. S received free items from, items from Pokestop. So there you have it, people. I would call that a success. I don't know about the charging thing. It might just be because it's really low. Um, it might. I can't. It's been about. When I said I was going to leave it half an hour, it's actually been about 10 minutes. Uh, a Zigzagoon came up. Still says it's connected. Is it going to try and catch the Zigzagoon? Let's wait and see what happens. Pokemon in range. It's trying to catch the uh, Alolan Rattata and a Zigzagoon. And I'm getting quests popping up. So I call that a success, people. Absolutely, I would call that a success. I can't get the charging symbol to come up. I think it might just be because it hasn't been used for so long. It's really, really low. Um, I was far too impatient to wait any longer. But uh, I would definitely say that that is a success, right? There's an Ekans. Is it close enough for it to be able to try and catch it? It seems to not catch stuff that's on the edge of the circle for whatever reason. don't know why that is. But um, I haven't spun any of those Pokestops manually. And I haven't caught any of... If I can do this while I'm... Sort this by recent. I didn't catch any of those Pokemon myself. They were all caught by the by the gotcha. So it works. And I think I'm happy to call that a success. Minin ran away. It's going to try and spin the gym hopefully. If it hasn't done so already. I don't know. Might have already done it. Might have already done it. Um, but yeah, guys, if I press that now, what happens? Comes up, and now I've got the options. So that's Pokestops. I don't know what the options are. Pokestops, that's Pokestops again. Now it's doing something. Trying to catch something. Pokestop in range. Normal ran away, received three arms from Jim. I would call that a success. That's fucking working. That is fucking awesome. I can't believe it. Um, awesome. So there you have it people, a modified USB cable to make a Go Plus charger. I'm looking at it down there now on the desk. It's still catching, it's still spinning, it's doing stuff all by itself. I would definitely call that. It's working in my opinion, totally working in my opinion. Um, so if you ever try this, black goes on the left pin when you're looking at the front of the gotcha. Red goes on the right pin. Be super, super careful if you're fucking around with this stuff. It's not the most sensible thing I've ever done in my life. It's probably not the most stupid thing I've ever done either. But we all do crazy shit, right? So, I'm going to leave it there, people. It fucking worked. I can now run GPX with auto catch without having to modify my real Go Plus, which is what I was planning to do. Um, so, I'm super, super pleased. It's still going. Like I say, I can see it down there. Spinning stops, catching Pokemon. Absolutely fucking amazing. I can't believe it worked. When I first started touching those things on it, I didn't think it was going to work. Um... Turns out that it doesn't just show the charging thing anyway when you just first touch I was assuming I could just touch it against it and it would start lighting up. You have to press the screen even when you've got the proper charger. So I'm super impressed. It fucking worked. I can't believe it. And I'm still alive. I live to tell the tale. So thanks for watching, people. I'm going to have to chop this video up and edit it. Hopefully it comes out all right in the end. Hopefully you can hear everything okay because I'm recording it just straight from my phone from the new S7. Um... Obviously, you saw the iPhone was in the video I was using it to play with. So I recorded it on the S7. Hopefully, it's okay. Thanks for watching, people. Stay bandproof. Hail Satan. And I'll see you next time. I can't believe it worked.